Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel today. I am bringing you the best dinosaur game ever. Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now, I'm a bit of a dino nerd. Well, no, I'm not a bit of a dino nerd. I'm a I'm a huge dino nerd, okay? My son's a huge dino nerd. Basically, my kids are just nerds like me. So, I platinumed the first one on the PlayStation and now why don't you guys come and join the journey and platinum this with me Jurassic World this this is where our story begins the scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences so nature did what it does and unleashed chaos this time, we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos brought something much worse. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. The time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time to reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one goal, survival. And this means that dinosaurs and humanity have to find a way to work out their differences. Oh, campaign Arizona. We're in the desert land. To us, a desert is a wasteland devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge, well, those that think they're in charge. So. We're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's going to be different. Well, we're open, Simon. I'm going to embrace the uncertainty. Right, fantastic. Can I just say? Okay, I guess an introduction is that... in order. I'm Cabot Finch, the star, director of like the not US even Department the star, but wildlife. the graphics are just important. absolutely yes, amazing. <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. Such this great is detail. And Owen Grady. Amazing. And yes, we have first hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay, so we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4 and a Capture Team helicopter. All right, fantastic. So, response facility straight in there. We are making excellent progress, so build let's stay focused. Generator there. Next step, building a backup generator, then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility. 
And also, make sure the building is connected to the PATH network. There we go. It only does us good if it's operational. Come on, you're almost done. Hey. Hey, Claire. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then the sensible let's go. Thing is let's go and get ourselves a baryonics. You can trank it from the air. See, I like the way I think. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, we know all this. There we go. Claire, this is Owen. I copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. Never had a doubt. Really? Well. Maybe one or two. I'll well, put the baryonics in there. Usual. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Yeah. Hey, uh, you don't have to answer that. Let's speed it up. Get the baryonics in here quicker. John Hammond was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. I think speeding it up is a, a really good way. Uh, is a really good thing that was added into this game as well. Opportunity. Uh, it comes to baryonics. One baryonics. I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. Oh, just... we couldn't save that. Oh, baryonyx, look at the footprints. But we can certainly help this one. Oh, just the attention to detail, mate. Amazing. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume. So we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. Let me go. Good to go on this end. Copy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team oh. vehicle. Oh my Owen god. We'll help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. Uh, um, we really need that. A plan. I'll I will break mean, it. I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what. If this doesn't work, I we'll broke, try your I broke way. the Jeep. Mm, that sort of sounds like a plan. I've officially broke the Jeep, ladies and gentlemen. We can do it now. While we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool? How's that sound? Are you seriously asking? Oh, here we go. Or pretend asking. Where is he? Okay, Claire. How about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? Better? So I'll say just want some rock. There you go, mate. There's plenty of rock. Oh, this game's so cool! It yeah, we can crazy. do that. I know, but this will work. Trust me. You want it where it can cover the whole thing, really. Up oh, there, uh, yeah. And then we'll... Assign that to your patrols. Oh, just oh, the, oh, it's just small little details. I'm getting reports of dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. The reports may be accurate, but they don't. Triceratops time. For status. For now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from That's the helicopter. One. 
and then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it. This lock on one is so efficient. Let me get back here quickly. Finish off this enclosure. That's in line yet, yeah. yep. Yeah, that's all. That's all in line. Now let's go back down here. Right, so oh my god, please just there. Right, one. Acknowledging asset collection request. I, I'm just still amazed by this game. Just the little, the tiniest bits of attention to detail and everything. It's just, oh, it's just amazing. And the graphics of the dino are awesome as well. The dinosaur's graphics are just brilliant. There we go. Right, let's take that off now. Let's go and status check it. All three of them. Overall, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet. But I'm also concerned, specifically about our biodiversity. Still, for now, let's focus on getting the dinosaurs safe and secure as well as building some additional viewing galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, we all know about territory. Right, you can go back on your merry way. Then we're going to construct one right here. Yeah. Right there. I'm going to bring the path up from... Right, that one's in. And now let's... Right, so you're missing water and ground fibre. Right, so first things first, if we sort out a little lake for you about about there. Yeah, and then ground fibre. We want everyone to see you eat, don't we? Just, oh, so amazing. Oh, they're socializing as well. Oh, that's good. That's, that's not socializing, that's territory. So many of the animals running well, free, an expedition our center has to be capturing Ooh. as many of them as possible. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. 
Get one built, and we'll take it from there. Wow. Right. All right. A little bit forward. Yeah. Sending a team out, Mel, to uh, go and gather fossils. You're actually sending this team out to um, able to track the dinosaurs, rescue dinosaurs. Would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Hopefully you can find one as well. I was playing this with my son yesterday when he got home from school. I mean, the boys are dino nerds, so what'd you expect? Right, so we are going to the control center and we are hiring a new member of staff. Um, right. Faster research. Oh, do you know what? We will take you. Reduces the salary by 50%. And we are you also going to yeah, recruit I you. I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Right, Agreed? so what we rescuing? Owen? You there? Stegos. I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what have we got to lose? You know, except the, maybe a new recruit. Right, now i just got to build a stego. Before the remote capture teams return, we should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. Put another backup generator here as well. Resupply, fill it up. That's that full. Oh, we captured all four. Yes, transport them. One, two, three, four. All right, we'll speed that up. Get the stegos in quickly. Build a gate about here. Here's the Stegos, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look how awesome they look! They look amazing! Okay. Who's watching who? I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us. So shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Handbrake! Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. That's what I'm saying. Only you said it. Status update. Check complete. Oh, no. Confirming at One, the last one. Awesome. There are so many new amazing features in this. I absolutely love it. Right, ground fibre, ground fruit and water. Yeah, that's even, and then I'm gonna put a little lake in there for them. And then we want to build a viewing gallery. Build 
building let's try it there now we'll connect the path there's the path see it's brilliant now that the herbivores actually eat from the plants and not a herbivore feeder i think that was a very very brilliant change I thought that was a really good change. Oh wait, do we actually have? Oh, we actually have guests in. No, that's staff. We have a woman. Owen. Owen. We have a real problem. I'm trying, Clara, but it's just... Well, this is who I am. Not you. Ah, the dinosaurs. Wait. Tell me something I don't know. Sedate okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm headed our way, and it could wipe out the facility. Without Which power, the safety from? of the dinosaurs could be at serious risk. Okay, listen to me, Claire. We'll figure this out. Have I ever let you down before? Actually, no. And where on where is the way. sandstone coming Everything from? We can do, we will do. We've survived worse. What's a little sand? Sandstorm in progress. Whoa! Oh wow! Look at it. Oh, let's get rid of it quickly. See, the herbivores are fine, it's just the, the carnivores. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty concerned about our current situation. As much as I'd obviously love to help out, I'm a little tied up. So, who's gonna protect the dinosaurs? And our personnel? Yes, of course. I mean, that goes without saying. I'm saying it anyway. It's just, it would be a tragedy to lose these animals again. And by tragedy, I mean huge financial loss. And the tip loss. I picked up from the first and one when you got storms coming in. Just tranquilize all your herbivores. Of the DFW. People such as you? Uh, well, actually, exactly me. So, how do we avoid that? Okay, step one. Round up the stragglers and get all the dinosaurs back into their enclosures. Then, we'll work on our safety ratings. This good? Yes, this is a plan I can support now and take credit for later. <laughs> oh, he's eating. Oh, you got a fish. Hopefully no copyright, no copyright. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in for today's first ever episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. If you enjoyed it, slap a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new around here. Remember, it is completely free. And let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more of this. Keep smiling, stay positive, and peace.